question. The moment you say this statement and pass over a zero rupee note, we have found that it, you get offered a chair. One old 70-year-old lady in Chennai, she was made to run from pillar to post for more than 18 months. The moment she handed over a zero rupee note, she was offered a chair and she was offered chai, made to wait for 45 minutes and handed over the land title in the same day. The same Tasildar, the same lady, things did not change. The only thing is, she had the courage to say, I am not willing to pay a bribe, just because she felt a part of a movement and she had a tool called the zero rupee note that she could hand over. She didn't have to speak too many words. All she had to do was, keep this, take your time, I will come back some other day. The moment she said that, she was made to sit, wait for 45 minutes and given the land title. And uh, in combination with the zero rupee note and the freedom from corruption campaign, we also uh, plug in the Right to Information Act training. We do the uh, Freedom from Corruption campaign is a 90-minute program in colleges. Out of the 90 minutes, we spend 15 to 20 minutes training the students on what the Right to Information Act is, how they can use it. They don't have to be a lawyer or a judge or a PhD to use the Right to Information Act. Any citizen, a nine-year-old um, child in Rajasthan has used the Right to Information Act. There is no age bar, there is no sex gender bar. There is no um, senior citizen bar. Anybody can use the Right to Information Act. Any Indian citizen from any state of India can apply the Right to Information Act to any department of India, regardless of language barrier or state barriers. So that is the power that the Indian government has given to the uh, people of India. More of us have to use the Right to Information Act. If any one of you are hesitant to use it yourself, you can use fifth pillar, the organization name. You can put your name. You can put fifth pillar's office address and you can file the petition. The response will come to the fifth pillar office address and you can be in touch with the office to get your responses. So if you are hesitant for the first time, please feel free to use the fifth pillar office address in Chennai or Delhi or Hyderabad. And uh, you, all you have to do is connect with us before you file the petition. So our office will look forward for that kind of a response. So that is the facility that we are uh, making available for the people so they don't fear using the Right to Information Act. doesn't seem to work. Can you help, it, help me with the slide, please? So the uh, fifth pillar idea was conceived way back in 2001 uh, when I used to live in Washington, D.C. Uh, working as a software engineer. We designed uh, the uh, fifth pillar, the zero rupee note, and started giving it out to NRIs living in Washington, New York, and other U.S. cities, and encouraged them. We used them as the guinea pigs. We used the NRIs as the guinea pigs or the rats, if you will. Uh, I take liberty calling my fellow NRIs as uh, guinea pigs and rats, so no offense meant. And um, they were encouraged to use the zero rupee note when they went back to India for vacation. So some of them used it at the customs entry point. And when the customs official said, uh, as usual, you, have, you seem to have too much of electronics, you need to pay duty. And, uh, and returning NRA with a zero rupee note was educated on what the customs law is. So there is a list of allowable electronics that the customs website is listed. So all they have to do is go to the website before they take the flight and take carry a zero rupee note. And uh, the moment they said, I, I'm sure I'm well below, below the allowable limit, and I don't think I'm, uh, I've done any, committed any offense, and give the zero rupee note, the customs officials let them go with a blush in their face or with anger or with um, uh, whatever shame in their uh, minds. But the end result is they let them go. Uh, none of the NRIs that carried a zero rupee note were harassed, stalled, delayed, or made to pay a bribe to uh, keep going through the Green Channel. And uh, likewise, some NRIs used it in um, family uh, weddings. After the wedding was over, they had to return back to the U.S. and uh, get a marriage certificate within a day or two because they had to take the newlywed uh, spouse to the uh, visa office with the marriage certificate. So uh, based on their urgency, the amount of bribe that they pay increases. So we encourage them. You are uh, um, larger criminals than citizens living within India because somebody in India, living in India, pays only 1,000 rupees to get a marriage certificate and NRI pays a 5,000 or a 10,000 rupees to get a marriage certificate. So we discourage them to, um, uh, discontinue, uh, encourage them to discontinue such practices and use the zero rupee note. And we found most of any, everybody that used it came back with success stories. Only after that, in 2006, we um, launched the zero rupee note in a large way in Chennai. And ever since that, we have not uh, stopped. There's no looking back. We have so far distributed 15 lakh copies throughout India. And um, it is not sufficient, as you all would agree. Uh, so the uh, 
printing and distribution is continuing as we speak. So the front of the zero rupee note reads eliminate corruption at all levels. The bottom reads I promise to neither accept nor give bribe. And on the back there is a mission statement which we already uh, saw in the second slide. And in the bottom there is the name of the organization accompanied with all the contact information. All these minor pieces of information in combination is what sends the uh, message, strong message that I am not alone, I am part of an organization. If you do not help me as I am entitled to, I will take you to um, court or vigilance or CBA, whatever the legal uh, remedy is. After we uh, uh, continued to use the zero rupee note for the last three, four years, um, we got um, emails and phone calls from NGOs from several uh, other countries. Now we have a website called the zerocurrency.org. There are six countries in the world that have adopted the zero rupee model. Argentina, Nepal, uh, Mexico, Peru, Uruguay, Italy, where there are NGOs that are using the zero concept in their own currencies. And uh, Fifth Pillar has put up this website. Um, when you get a chance, please visit the website. If you have friends living in other countries, uh, feel free to uh, direct them to this site. They are free to download the images. Uh, there are zero dollars, zero pounds, zero euros, zero uh, Kenyan currency, everything. Um, 178 countries are listed on this website. So this, these numbers are old. Uh, pardon me for that. I haven't updated this slide. We have crossed uh, more than 1,200 colleges now. And uh, we have crossed more than 7 to 8 lakh students. And all these students have taken this verbal pledge, I will neither accept nor give bribe. And we call the zero rupee note as a flag of freedom from corruption. We ask them to raise the flag and utter the pledge, following which this is the verbal pledge that they are taking with the zero rupee uh, flag raised. Following the verbal pledge, we ask them to sign their names on a large 30 feet by 50 feet banner of the zero rupee note which we unfurl on the um, college premises or school premises and we tell them they are signing a contract with, your, with the nation that they will not allow this nation to deteriorate any further and they will only make sure that it uh, progresses forward. And uh, we have three such banners uh, with all these people's signatures. We have three banners full of like five to six lakh signatures of students. We also conduct public events because the whole thing is a matter of changing mindsets of people, building public opinion both on the a bribe payer side and the bribe taker side. So whenever we get an opportunity, be it Gandhi's birthday, Gandhi's anniversary, Independence Day, Bhagat Singh's, uh, the day Bhagat Singh was hung, the day Subhash Chandra Bose was born, we make use of all these uh, uh, days of uh, commemorative freedom struggle uh, um, incident and uh, conduct public events like this, human chain on the Marina Beach in Chennai. And uh, we engage thousands of students. They all shout slogans against corruption. They hold their hands. Uh, we have two balls. One ball is uh, uh, titled um, Ball of Corruption. Another ball is titled Ball of Honesty. And uh, all the thousands of students assembled on the beach, they pass on the ball of uh, honesty. They hug the ball and they pass on to their neighbor. And then the, the campaign itself is called Hug Honesty Kick Corruption Campaign, HHKK. And they've, re they've uh, changed the spelling of corruption to start with K. This is all the students' work, so we don't interfere in that. So the campaign is called HHKK, like one of the film, uh, filmy names. And uh, they hug the ball of honesty, and then after that they kick the ball of corruption. They have this ball of corruption on the sands of the beach, and all the thousand plus students kick the ball of corruption. And then there is this white cloth on which they put their thumb impressions. The placard there says, corruption, I can make a difference. Without you and I, there is no corruption. And this is the name of the campaign that I just mentioned, Hug Honesty Kick Corruption. Who all have used the zero rupee note? Like I said earlier, there is no age bar, no gender bar. Uh, you don't have to be a government official. Mr. Vijay Kumar rightly said, if you have to do good, you do not need to have any kind of power. You, all you need to do is have six senses and the powerful feeling that you are an Indian citizen. All of us are equal. We all have the same power. And uh, the... Uh, people as Pratibha Patil, the, our f current president, rightly put, she said, I am the first servant of this country. Everybody that is in government is here to serve the people. So the problem is citizens have been 
uh, enslaved by a very few corrupt officials and the entire bureaucracy has got the uh, bad image. So it, I think it's high time with the uh, partnering with the straightforward, courageous, honest people in the four pillars of democracy, we have to set things right in the coming years. The first story is what I shared with you a little earlier. The second one is a college student, 18, 19 years old. After a college program, she was stopped by a police constable, demanded for a uh, very petty bribe, 50 rupees. The policeman started with uh, 200 rupees. She said, I don't have 200 rupees. Then he said, give me at least 100 rupees. He, she said, I don't have 100 rupees. Then he uh, came down to 50 rupees. And at that time, he started uh, using inappropriate words with the uh, college uh, student. And then that's when she got angry and she rem remembered about the zero rupee note that she had in her moped. And she took out the zero rupee note and said, I don't have 50 rupees. And even if I have 50 rupees, I made up my mind I will not pay bribes. And this is what I can give you, sir. You can keep this. And right after that, the policeman blushed and he literally begged her not to take this issue up to anybody. He, he got afraid after that and uh, he pleaded with her not to take it up further. Ravi Sundar, an uh, IT professional in Coimbatore, when he was traveling in the train, the train ticket examiner said there is no berth that is available uh, that he can allot to him. Whereas Mr. Ravi Sundar was able to visibly see there were seven to eight berths that were vacant uh, after the train started moving. Train started moving. And the moment he gave a zero rupee note, the train ticket examiner allotted a berth in less than five minutes. He just uh, pretended that he is going to uh, uh, check again if there are berths available and uh, he took five minutes to uh, make a U-turn and then uh, eventually he allotted a berth for the right fee. And uh, the last four to five years worth of uh, uh, doing these kind of public events and campaigns have uh, uh, triggered several acts of uh, public innovations. Uh, several coordinators of Fifth Pillar have come up with their own ideas and models that we have replicated in other districts. So we do not tell them what to do. On the other hand, they come up with new ideas and we only do the facilitation. As an organization, we facilitate transfer of information from one chapter to another. That way, somebody says, I want to print banners and distribute to all the auto rickshaws in my city. We say, fine, go ahead. And we just take pictures of that and put it on our website. And we run a monthly magazine. And through that magazine, we propagate.